Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And today I am at Adolph Tomei Jr. County Park, which is about 30 miles east of Harlingen, Texas. It is a county owned and operated park, mostly for RV camping and fishing right along the river. And the big attraction here is that you can park your RV just a few feet from the river, which I'll show you mine. It's a nice place, so let me show you around this park. This shows all of the various facilities along the Arroyo Colorado River. And this is just a short ways before the river dumps out into the Gulf of Mexico. Here's some information about the park. And here is a map of the park. Everything is along the river there. There's a few RV spaces on this side, but nearly all of the RV spaces are right along the river. Two fishing piers that are lighted at night, and then the boat ramps are down here. I'm out on one of the two fishing piers in the river. It doesn't go out very far, but it is a pretty wide river. And up here on the riverbank is some playground equipment, picnic areas, and I guess you can... I don't think they're overnight tenting. I think that is just for day use. I've seen a lot of people fishing right along the banks too. Some pretty nice grass along the river banks as well. This is the RV parking area that is away from the river. Got a pair of volantes here. How about that? And I don't know why anyone would prefer to be over here, but when you register online, you pick your site. There's somebody speeding along the river. Well, not terribly fast. Now, when I pulled in, I was surprised to find my power box padlocked. And I had to call the front office on the phone and tell them to come unlock it. And when the guy came to unlock it, I asked him, what's the purpose of having these power boxes locked? And he said to make sure that people don't just pay the day fee, the day use fee, pull an RV in and then use the power when they have it registered in RV space. I can't imagine somebody doing that, but that's what they're thinking. They do have a lot of dumpsters around. So that's good. And here are the park rules, if you're interested. Looks like somebody's been chewing on the sign there. <laughs> Here's the second pier. And at both piers, they do have these restroom buildings. Part of the banks here are fortified with those concrete sides. And on the other side of the river is nothing at all. Just dirt banks. And if you look all the way down to the east, I think you can see where the river runs into the Gulf of Mexico. There is a can barely tell that's where the river ends at the Gulf. So now let's take a look at the RV site that I picked. My power box here has 20, 30, 50 and a water faucet and I got out my extension cord to go all the way around the other side of the RV so that I could park facing the water. I got a dump station, but it's way in the back, 
and dump stations should always be in the middle like the power box and the water hose is here because where you dump your tanks is in the middle of your RV I think at least most of them and look how close I am to the water about 10 12 feet and I could get down there but it doesn't look very inviting it's kind of muddy right there and some debris and unfortunately I have not found a place a good place where you can go in swimming got some trees here a picnic table and a really nice view of the river and here at the boat docks we meet some of the permanent residents and their smaller friends looks like they have just got nothing to do today there's a bunch of trucks with their boat trailers but it is very peaceful here very quiet I don't hear one single boat on the river this is definitely a favorite hangout of the locals. This is a little further down from the boat docks. And this appears to be a little mini beach. It's all mud, but it does seem to be a safe place to get in to go swimming. That's what I was looking for. So that's good. Oh, there's one boater out here. Couple guys. And a little further down is another boat ramp. And this is as far east as you can go in the park. So this gives you the closest view you're going to get of where the river empties out into the Gulf of Mexico. And what is that? And here's another what is it? <laughs> I have no idea. It is on the west end of the river that you can see from here that's west end being away from the ocean well that is the back end of what I was seeing as I've come back a long way west along the river some kind of huge vehicle trolling the lake now there's one big negative of this place. The Verizon internet is really terrible. Usually it's just stuck on 1X. Once in a while it'll go up to 3G, which is not much better. <laughs> and then once in a while it'll give you 4G for a minute or less. Just to kind of taunt you. <laughs> I don't know about other carriers. Other than that, it's a nice place to spend a few days. So if this is what you like to see outside your windshield, then I bet you would like to stay here. Good day, folks.